Hello everybody and welcome back to Coloring with Haley. It is finally time for my very long-awaited birthday haul. I do have several things here and we're going to start out with the supplies first. So in October um, I went to a concert in the city for a band that I like and the concert is right beside a Blick Art Materials. So obviously I went in there and bought some stuff. So I've been keeping these in here because I don't have anything else to put them in. But let me sort of just dump them all out. Oh, that is my nibs. There we go. These are Copic's new refills. They remade their refills, and so now they're in this nice slim marker thing. Before, they kind of looked like they were in like a printer ink cartridge. So I bought a bunch of skin tones because those were re really needed refills. And I also bought some new nibs because some of my markers need new nibs. So these are just spare nibs for the sketch and chow size, which are what I use. So I've got five colors here. No, six. Six colors. I have dark suntan, copper, barely beige, Soft Sun, Pale Fruit Pink, and Cotton Pearl, because these are the ones I use the most. Now, <clears throat> I have, you have seen me use them on a page. I acquired a couple of these before October, and I talked about how the directions for these say that you just put them in the marker and go, and that does not seem to be true. They are very streaky when you just do that, and a few of you guys commented and said, that you refill the marker and then shake it up and let it set for a little bit to redistribute the ink before you start coloring. And I'm going to try that the next time I refill a color. I've only refilled one color so far uh, with the one I bought to try a couple months ago that I just haven't hauled yet, which was this dark suntan. The rest of these are brand new and unused. And I bought them in October. This one I bought off Amazon a while ago to try. So I am going to try letting them set to see if that works out and they're not as streaky, but these are really nice. I'll open this and show you. So you take your Copic marker and they take you take the chisel tip nib out. Um, you can use tweezers to do that or you can use your fingers. Mine were so dry that I just used my fingers because there wasn't any ink on them. And you put this down in there and it's actually this really thin like nozzle. You see that? And you can just situate it down in there and you just fill it with ink. Now I will say that these are made of a really, really hard plastic, and they are a little bit hard to squeeze. So it, it is a little difficult to squeeze some of the ink out. It becomes significantly easier once you've gotten it lower, like I have this one. But these here that are still full, they are really solid and hard to squeeze. So that's my only complaint. But I do like that there's no mess because it has that like a nozzle in it, so you can really just get it down inside the marker and you don't have to worry about it. So I'm going to put these back in the bag that I've been storing them in. I have been storing them upright in here. So I don't know why Blake gave me such a big long bag for them to go in. But let me put my brush nibs back in here too. I do need to get something to store them in. But for now, we're just using the paper bag that Blake gave me. So next up, I got a little supply from Christina. She sent me some other things too, but one of them was the supplies. We're going to show it here. And they are more of the Uniball Signo white gel pens. I was seriously running low on the three that I got last year for Christmas because I use these all the time to do white highlights. So very excited to have some more of these. I really needed some refills. Like, like I said, I was running out. I use them a lot. Even though it's small details, it like really does add up. So next up, I didn't even know this was a thing. I saw it on Instagram. I think Lisa Loves posted it. Sharpie released a new set of Sharpies. These are their special edition portrait colors. And they are all browns and skin tones. And I am so excited because Sharpie does not have many browns or many skin tones. I, this is 12 count. I am so excited. I've been so busy that I haven't even had time to sit down and open these and swatch them out yet. But this is going to make my color by numbers so much better with this variety of browns. I might even go out and buy a second set for when this dries since it is special edition. That makes me think that it may not be on shelves that long. So that I actually have some skin tones because previously in the past, like, 
I was able to use just Sharpies on nearly every single thing in Color By Numbers except for the skin tones because Sharpie just didn't make them. So yeah, really, really excited about this. I think this is going to be a really nice range as well. And these are just the fine tip. Um, I don't know if they come in ultra fine. I couldn't even find these in store. I had to order them on Amazon. They are on Amazon if you're interested. But you guys were saying you were finding them at Walmart. They never showed up at my Walmart and they still haven't. So if you cannot find them, um, check Amazon. That's where I got them officially from Sharpie on Amazon. So next is the big thing. This is a new set of markers. This is the Caliart markers, the 121 set. It's 120 colors plus a blender. And I bought this because my Ohuhu markers have been drying up. And I really liked the Ohuhu markers a lot. But here's my problem with them. They're all going dry at the exact same time. Even colors that I hardly used. They're as dry as colors that I used a lot. So I, I don't know what's going on there. I don't know if that's me. Maybe I'm storing them wrong. I keep them upright in the case that they came in. But maybe there's a design flaw in the marker themselves and it's allowing some of the ink to evaporate out. You know, maybe the, the way that the lids snap on, the caps, maybe it isn't the greatest fit. I don't know. I don't know if it's me. I don't know if it's Ohuhu. And so because I was running out so badly, I did not want to pick up another set of Ohuhu markers because they're going dry that fast. I have a set of Cali Art markers from years ago that I still have some colors from because they were colors I didn't use very often. And they are not dry. They still work just fine. So why are the colors that I don't use very often in this Ohuhu marker set dry after only two years? Whereas this old set of Cali Art markers I've had for like four or five. I have no idea. So I went with the Cali Art markers. But I did ask you guys, because I know they redid their markers, if yours had yellowing. And you said no. And I have been coloring with these. And I haven't experienced any yellowing yet. A lot of my finished pages for October, I just started using these for. So here's the set. You do get a nice array of colors. Um, no swatch card like the Ohuhu markers came with, so I haven't swatched them out. I'm going to be honest, I'm a little lazy too. I'll just pick a color and go with it. So my only complaints with this set are there are not a lot of skin tones in it. If you're like me and like to color people, so you may want to buy a skin tone marker set to supplement this. And the second thing is the case that it comes in is a little flimsy. Um, you know, you're paying for the markers, not the case, so... It doesn't bother me that much, but the Ohuhu markers did come with a case that I think has like cardboard sewn into the side so that it continuously stays stood up. Whereas this is, yeah, it's really floppy and flimsy and wants to fall. But I'll show you my ancient set of markers. They looked like this. And in this new set, the barrel design looks like this. They have changed it completely. I also noticed that they removed the names of the markers. On this old set, they have a name on the back and there is no name anywhere on this. It's just the numbers on the top now but I actually really like this round design it is a lot more comfortable to hold you guys know I have grip problems that's why I don't really use pencil these are way more comfortable than the old square barrel ones it still has the chisel tip and the broad the broad nib and the fine nib so chisel tip and fine tip fine tip looks like that chisel tip looks like this one thing I will say is that because this is a new set, they do smell a little strong uh, when you're coloring with them. So make sure you're just coloring in a well-ventilated area. They are alcohol markers. They do have a little bit of a strong smell. However, I am really happy with it. They do color really nicely. They haven't yellowed. And you do get a very uh, wide array of colors in here. Like I said, it's 120 colors plus a blender. It's somewhere in here. Here it is. It was down at the edge. Here's the colorless blender. The only thing is, yeah, the colors are not named. So you might want to swatch them out for yourself to see what they all look like. But yeah, I am really, really thrilled with that. We're going to try to zip this up. Because it's a little loose and not stable, it can be a little bit hard to zip all the way up because the markers kind of want to spill out the edge there. So let me see if I can get this situated. 
kind of struggling here. So I might buy something else to put these markers in. I haven't really decided. I'm just trying at this one marker that here in there. Okay, there we go. And now we're gonna move on to the book portion. So some of these I bought myself, some of these were gifts to me. So I went out and purchased the Pumpkin Killer. I purchased those markers too. And when I did, I purchased this book for Halloween because I really wanted it. So the idea behind this book is they're characters in horror movies, but they have little pumpkin heads. I did color some pages out of here already, but this is nice and simple. Big black lines, large simple images as a ghostwriter. Not sure who this guy is. There we go. That's from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. You can see a page I did here. Sam from Trick or Treat. We got the nun from the nun. They're not too creepy. Um, there's no gore or anything, so I think it's just enough for people that kind of want something creepy. This Chucky, that it's a little bit creepy, but not too much. This is Billy the Puppet from Jigsaw. Jason. Freddy Krueger's at the back. Yeah, this one is adorable. There's Pennywise. I really liked it. Michael Myers is in here. He looks really creepy with the pumpkin head, but that is Michael Myers. So, of course, I had to buy this because you guys know I love Halloween. And the other book that I purchased for myself was the Matchstick Mouse book, the floral one, which no longer has black backgrounds, yay, so we don't have to worry about Amazon's little printing errors that they sometimes have with those, where there's streaks in them, or the black prints in a really light gray color. He did ask on Instagram, Morgan O'Brien, the artist, whether we preferred the backgrounds black or not, and I think it was kind of overwhelmingly no, because of the errors Amazon sometimes has. So. Very excited that there's no black backgrounds on this anymore. This one's cute. Yeah, as it says, it's just flower themed. These have full flip throughs up on my channel. Yeah, this is just all kinds of different scenes with the Matchstick Mouse and her friends and flowers. There's the bat eating fruit. Riding her broomstick. I don't have anything colored in here yet. So, so focused on Halloween, but there are some really cute pages. Let me try to find, there it is. Here's my favorite page in here. She's sitting in the flower and this cute little bee is coming to visit. I just love this one. This one's adorable. So can't wait to color in this one. And this one, it's not necessarily spring themed either. It's sort of an all year round one. Cause I mean like they're, they're apple picking and that could be fall, you know, this birthday cake. That's definitely spring cause it's May Day, but Here's a winter page. So this one could be, yeah, totally an all year round thing. You don't have to make it just spring. And then Christina sent me a book along with those pens. And it was also Matchstick Mouse. It was the last Matchstick Mouse book I had on my wish list. So I'm all caught up with those. I think that Morgan O'Brien is really my favorite new artist from the year that came on the scene. I have bought everything he's put out except for the Grogu, that's Baby Yoda one. Um, just because I haven't really watched The Mandalorian that much. I know it's horrible. My own dad probably doesn't even want to hear that because he loves it. Because he loves Star Wars, but I haven't watched it yet. So, yeah, I didn't buy that one. But I do have all these others. So very excited to get started on this very soon. This Christmas one is adorable. And it's also not just Christmas. It could be, you know, winter. There's some regular just like wintry themed pages in here. Like here she is ice skating. And that's sort of just a winter thing. She's got a pine cone, but here she is, you know, giving out Christmas letters and they're caroling. There's a really cute one in the back where she gets like a present. Here it is. She got like this little stuffed mouse as a present under the tree. And I think that one's so cute because here she is unwrapping the presents. She's given presents to her friends. They've got the Christmas crackers. That's not really a thing here in the United States, but I know it is over in the UK and I believe that's where Morgan O'Brien is from. Um, they're like, okay, I'm gonna try to describe this, but I'm American and I've only seen them like once. They're these little paper, they kind of look like candy and you pull them apart and there's stuff inside, especially these little paper crowns that they're wearing. Those are like really common. We don't, that's not a Christmas tradition here in the United States, but that's what's going on in this picture, if you're wondering. She's baking cookies in some of them. There's the caroling again. I was going to try to find another just sort of a winter themed one for you. 
There we go. I did do a full flip through, but here we go. There's one. She's just sitting outside having hot chocolate with the worm. I assume it's hot chocolate. I mean, it could be coffee. The black printing on this one is not bad at all. This one is actually pretty dark and there's not a lot of lines in it. So this one I won't have to color over, whereas some of the other books I've gotten that have black backgrounds, the black is horrible. I really like this one, the snowball fight. Even the cat bug is like rolling up a snowball down here. So this one is really cute and she's already received a message from me about... How much I enjoyed the gifts and then I got one more piece of happy mail and this was from Misty and she found this amazing book from my wish list Zoe Keller's Color the Natural World and I did a flip through this one you guys really enjoyed this book I saw that Michelle from Kids and Caboodles already went out and bought it so this is not Amazon printed but it was purchased from Amazon I did have it on my wish list there and it is a fantastic book of animals native to the United States. And you will see that they are double page spreads, but look at this. It is not double sided. Isn't that nice? And this is some fairly nice thick paper. You could watercolor on it, I think, if you went ahead and put a paper in between it. I'm not really big into watercoloring. It's not cardstock thick, but it is way thicker than your regular Amazon paper. And this just details all kinds of different animals all throughout the United States in all kinds of different habitats. We go from like desert to the swamp. Here's a desert one with all the different animals than you see in the desert. And this is really, the artwork in here is really nice. Nice thick lines, nice realistic animals and plants. So definitely if you're into nature, you might be interested in this one. And I'm happy that I can use markers in it since it is single-sided. That was honestly one of the biggest draws for me when I read that, that it was single-sided. So really excited about that. But here's the cool thing. So in the back here, the artist gives you every single double page spread and she tells you what part of the United States it's from. So we're gonna take a look at this page here. This is from the Western Alpine region. And then she tells you exactly what every single animal in the page is and what every single plant is. So she says, a pika perches on a lichen covered rock holding a bundle of alpine wildflowers for its den. A black rosy finch scolds the pika. So you know that it's alpine wildflowers, that's a pika, and that's the rosy finch. So you know exactly every animal and every plant if you want to color it a certain way. Let's do one that has like a bunch of flowers in it. What about this bear with the salmon? No, those aren't really flowers. Let me see, let me see. That desert one that we went to just had a bunch of like wild flowers in it. So let's go back to that. Here we go. So for this desert one, yeah, she tells you there's an elf owl, a saguaro cactus, a big brown bat, a moth, a candelia silk moth, a saguaro cactus flower, gila woodpeckers, an antelope, a ground squirrel, cactus fruit. She tells you every single thing in the picture so you can make sure that you color it, you know, if you want to color it realistic colors, you color it realistic colors. And I actually do appreciate that because while I could identify most of the animals um, when it comes to plants, yeah, no, I don't really, I don't really know that much about flowers. So that, that is really cool and probably one of the coolest books that I have found that is nature themed just because it is single-sided. These things are always double-sided. I don't know why. We like single-sided pages and of course there's like a cute alligator on the cover. So yeah, that is kind of my birthday haul that I have been eagerly waiting to share with you, especially because the biggest part of the haul was those new markers and I have been using them and yeah, they're just so lovely. I don't know like I said, what was going on with the Ohuhu markers? I don't know if this time if I'd really recommend you to go out and buy a set of those. I would recommend the Caliar markers over those. Thank you guys so much for watching though, and I hope you enjoyed.